Good morning, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello. All right, friends. So, um, welcome to uh, Mindful Morning for this morning. And today is July 27th, I believe. Hi. Um, so, we're going to just jump right into it. Good morning. So I have a blank journal page ready to go. Um, go ahead and grab your journals. Uh, we'll begin with a little bit of gratitude journaling. And then today I thought we could um, do a little sound bowl healing. So during our meditation, um, I'm just feeling the vibes. Good morning, hi, welcome. Um, Okay, so go ahead and write down the date for today. And like I said, I think it's the 27th. So I have the 26th written on the previous day. And this morning, um, let's see, what is coming up for me that I wanna, so like the first thing I want you to do is just kind of write down like what's coming up, like something that is on the top of your mind where you want to just like get it on some paper before you start gratitude journaling so it doesn't influence the gratitude that you have. Um, I'm just going to write down like, um, I'm thinking a lot about the content creation that I need to do today. And then I also need to upload some things. So I have like a to-do list in my mind. And so I'm just kind of like thinking about what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do it, and I'm just writing that down. So thinking about content creation, um, and then upload. I'm like maybe two weeks ahead of my YouTube schedule right now, and I wanna kinda of keep it that way. And so I recorded two videos yesterday. I wanna upload those, and then I need to um, edit some footage or maybe do one other thing um, on my YouTube. I upload a like a mindful Monday so like a chat and then um, some movement a movement practice um, during the week and then I usually will do like a vlog so like I need to edit the vlog part um, but yeah I have everything else up going but that's the kind of stuff that like is always in my mind where I'm like okay we gotta like stay ahead <laughs> otherwise I'll get behind and then I won't post anything for a couple weeks so upload the videos that are in my phone. I need to do that this morning. And then like everything that I upload to YouTube also goes into my membership. And so that'll all be available for August. I'm uploading stuff for August already. So if you're in the membership and you're like, will I get to see this? Yes, I usually will start the last week or so of the month. I'll usually start uploading to the next month. Um, Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know who you are, but I don't think that's what I want to see in this room. <laughs> so, goodbye. Um, all right, so now that we have kind of dumped out whatever is in our brains, I want you to write down, um, I'm gonna just turn off invites just because I'm not interested. Um, I want you to write down one, two, three, and I just like messed up my number three, but that's okay. Um, and then I want you to write down like three things you're grateful for. And these can be like small things, big things. So one, two, three, this was my like little mind dump, good morning. Um, so one, two, three things that you're grateful for. Um, and it could be the same thing every morning. And this morning again, um, thank you for sharing. Uh, it is coffee for sure and this community that we're creating so I love um, that p the people who are here present for the live um, and people who like share follow me like love all of you like appreciate you more than you know um, people are always like how can I support and the first things I always tell everybody is you know follow me in all the places and then um, check out my free stuff. And then if I vibe with you, like sign up for my membership and check out at like a free couple of days. Like I would love to have that, um, you know, support in whatever way that you're able to. 
<laughs> you are super duper inspiring. Thank you. Wow. Everybody is very concerned about our former <laughs> president. Um, morning from Michigan. Hello. Welcome. Um, the first thing that I want to write down for gratefulness, though, um, I'm trying to think what I'm super duper grateful for. Um, I, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> I've actually, never, you know, I had a plan to go to Portland um, at one point, and we made it to this, I forget what it was called, um, it was like some sort of a river, and we went like salmon fishing, and we were going to go to Portland, but it was like a couple hours like away, and we were going to then turn around and then come back home, and we were just so tired after the fishing trip because it was such a... We caught four salmon, like it was crazy. And so we were just like, we're just gonna go home. <laughs> and we're from like, at the time we were in Northern California, so it was gonna be a long drive, and so we didn't wanna do it. But Portland, Oregon, I, we did want to go, but then we got tired. <laughs> um, so number one, uh, what else am I grateful for? Uh, I was gonna say, um, speech therapy for my daughter just because today we do have speech therapy and she has been making so much progress um and we were able to get her in a program for her language to help um enrich and it was completely free it's like i'm just so like thankful because she's only four and like usually those types of programs cost a lot, and so we're really excited to have her um, be in something like that. So yes, and it's coming up in like a couple weeks, and so I've, it's just been on top of my mind. And then today I, we have speech therapy. Love your shirt. Thank you. Me too. Um, all right. So now that the journaling is done, let me pull out my sound bowl, and we will do some sound bowling. Um, I am feeling. The big one. I don't have root, but I think this one is solar plexus. Oh, sacral, excuse me. So, sacral chakra. This is the one I have. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Welcome. <coughs> Okay, so we will find a, a little bit of meditation. I'll play my um, singing bowl and you can just find a comfortable seat. So maybe laying down, maybe um, sitting up and I'm encouraging you when you lay down. <laughs> my bunny just really wants to make a lot of noise. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. And it can be like this too, however you would like. Morning, how often do you do this live? This is a great way to keep myself accountable. Yes, every morning, 6 a.m. Um, and if you would like an email reminder, you can go sign up for my free 60 minute class. The link is in my bio and I send out email reminders to anybody who is on my email list every single morning. So um, go ahead and just place your hands on your body. Take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Just kind of become grounded here. And you're actually placing your hand near that sacral chakra. So root is like the pelvic floor, the mula bandha, like all that lower half. Ooh, it's louder than I remember. right on the belly and just see what comes up.
here, counting to four, five, or six. Exhaling, fighting that same count. When I'm working with a sound bolt, um, what I like to do is tell people to imagine that color. So this is an orange color. And imagine it swirling in that sacral spot. And try to send the sound there, right? That's kind of what you're wanting to do. And what I'd like for you to also be thinking is, um, I love my belly. I love you, belly. Send some love to the belly. Thank you for existing on my body. I appreciate you for digesting my food, holding in my organs. It's really important to like send love to your belly. As you breathe, maybe just notice how you're feeling after hearing the sound, imagining that color just kind of swirling in your body. The sacral chakra is um, connected to so many things, creativity, sexuality, there's lots of things. So if you're feeling any type of emotions towards that it should kind of help open you up to feeling good <laughs> feeling good in your body all right friends this sound bowl just okay um we'll go ahead and put that away or set it aside and we'll we're gonna find some movement now so um i am feeling like maybe even finding it on our backs today so go ahead and lay down on your back and i'm gonna just kind of shift my camera a little bit so you can see me better i think this way yeah um so as we lie lie on our backs i want you to bend your knees feet planted on the earth um and knees up to the sky and um just slowly kind of find whatever position would feel right here. So once you're here, I want you to um, just adjust. So maybe move your shoulders and you can even kind of move your knees uh, to the right, to the left and find like a little bit of um, back body Stretching, so inhale, come to center, exhale to the right. Inhale, come back to center, exhale to the left. You might even feel like a little snap, crackle, pop. As long as there's no pain, you're good to go. <laughs> if there is pain, don't do it. <laughs> Stop doing it. On that next exhale, come back to center. And then I want you to plant your right foot down and then cross your left foot. And maybe even take your left hand and press into the knee and find like a figure four. So as you find this figure four, sink into that left hip, really opening it up. And you don't have to do anything else. This is exactly where you need to be, right? Take a deep breath. We're just gently opening up the hip. Flex that left foot, maybe even push into the cross a little bit more, maybe push into the knee. If you're like, I don't feel much, you can always lift up this other leg. 
but usually this is enough. This is a lot, right? So just allow yourself to feel this hip opening. On that next exhale, let's bring that left knee into the chest. We could just grab right behind it and just gently move it into our chest. And then maybe move it off to the left, helping open it, and then back to center. We're just kind of moving the leg after it's just got open. So maybe finding like a little circle motion here. And then go in that opposite direction. And then release your leg, set it down. And let's do the other side. So cross your leg your right leg over the left knee, flex that, that right foot, and then maybe even push into that right knee. And like, I feel this in my low back, my outer hip, um, and lots of different places. So uh, even like my groin area, I can feel it, but really in that low back on the right, uh, my outer hip, and if you're not feeling it like that, like I said, you could always lift up your leg I could tell like my right side is much tighter than my left. So if that's happening, totally normal. Take your deep breaths. Focus. I'm just holding this for just a moment. On that next exhale, bring your knee in. Grab behind your knee with your right hand. and Just hold it into your chest for a moment and maybe bring it out to the side and then circling around. So just going slowly with your knee, circling it around in one direction. And then whenever you're ready, going in that opposite direction. All right, bring both knees down and let's rock it to the left, rock it to the right. And now, whenever you're ready, let's lift up the hips and then move over to like a fetal position. So we're just laying on our sides, knees are up, and maybe you make like a little pillow with your arm. And just pause here for a moment. Taking your time, breathing. And whenever you're ready, push into that right hand lift up your chest and let's come into a seated pose so i'm going to grab something to sit on so something like this thanks for sharing thank you for following and yeah <laughs> okay so now that we're finding our seated pose this can be on a chair this can be on the ground wherever it's comfortable for you I'd love to practice with you. What time do you do this? Every morning at 6 a.m. Pacific. And if you aren't already, you can um, get on my email list. My link is in bio. Just sign up for that uh, free 60-minute class. And it'll register your email, and then you'll get a reminder every morning. All right. Let's go ahead and lift up our chest. And just kind of sit here with our spine lengthened. So imagine like a string like really pulling you up creating all that little space in our spinal area and my hands are flat on my legs just kind of finding that grounding and whenever you're ready let's circle the arms and lift up the chest and then exhale bring our elbows in and maybe round the back a little bit so let's do that a few times somebody was asking me yesterday like I have no shoulder mobility or I have a lot of pain in my shoulders, like I can't do the the move, that move. And it was a move where my hands were behind like this. And this is where you start with shoulder mobility. And if it's like this, this is where you start, right? So when it comes to mobility, it, of course, like do the thing your doctor says, like check with your doctor, but a lot of times this kind of circular motion where we circle the arms, lift up the chest, and then exhale, bring hands to heart center, that sometimes feels like um, like a nothing thing, right? Like we just do it like without even thinking about it, but not everybody has the accessibility to be able to rotate their shoulders 
And so it actually is something that's like, wow, like some people can't do that. So we need to kind of like notice, okay, my shoulders feel good, they're healthy, or my shoulders don't feel good. I can only lift them up this much. And um, doing that type of movement helps with your mobility, <laughs> right? It kind of like gets all the stuff in your, in your joints. You don't always move your arms like this, right? You're not over here like this all day long. <laughs> so having you do that is, is increasing your mobility regardless of if you like think it's anything or not. Um, I think those types of ways of thinking sometimes can like unlock something for people. They're like, oh yeah, like sometimes when you're doing movement in yoga classes, you're like just doing it. You're not really thinking about the benefits. And then by the end of the class, you feel good. And you're like, mm, cause I do yoga, but really it's like each individual thing kind of like layers. And, um, like I need my shoulder mobility to be able to do like poses where I'm like this. Right. And if I don't continually do this, I won't be able to do that. So our bodies need to move. Anyways, that's my little soapbox of the day. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and circle again. Lift up your chest, reach, reach, reach. And then right hand down. Let's just find a few side stretches. Maybe plant that right hand down and then think about lifting and opening, lifting and opening, stretching, maybe looking up. And then maybe coming back down, like rotating your chest so your shoulder comes down, hand comes down, stretching out your back. And let's open again, just to kind of, ah, okay, that's how that feels. <laughs> Inhale, we lift back up, both hands come back up, left hand back down, or down, because we haven't gone down yet. And then plant your left hand and then open up the chest. Feel that stretch, 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 stretch. And then uh, come back down, bring your chest, close it, reach, reach, reach. And you should feel this in your shoulder, all the places. You can kind of play with it a little bit too. And then come right back up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh, and then let's bring both of your hands back to center, come back to center, hands come to the heart center. And just take a deep breath here. <sighs> Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. I want you to just send love to the belly. Thank you, belly, for existing on my body. Thank you for digesting all my food. Thank you for holding in my organs. I appreciate you exactly as you are. And you don't need to change a thing. Whenever you're ready, bring your hands to heart center, tuck your chin, maybe soften your gaze or close your eyes and just thank yourself for showing up today and being present in this very unique practice. If you're comfortable, bring your thumbs to your third eye. So it's that little space between your eyebrows. The divine light within me honors the divine light within each and every one of you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you do this every morning? I do. Every morning at 6 a.m. Pacific. So like I said before, check out uh, signing up for my email to get a reminder. And you can just sign up for my 60-minute class to get on my email list. Um, but yeah, uh, every single morning. And maybe even like think about um, like today we had like a, a heavy focus on the belly love and I like to like do that in all my practices because I think um, we don't do that enough. <laughs> As humans, we are constantly um, criticizing our bodies. It doesn't matter how much we love ourselves, that critical thinking or that, um, that uh, conditioned way of thinking will pop up when we least expect it, no matter what. And it's up to us to kind of um, provide ourselves with a different way of thinking. And so I love doing that because it kind of challenges the norm. We usually are like, oh, I need to be thinner. I need to lose weight. My belly needs to be smaller. Um, those types of 
thinking is just what we've been conditioned to do. It's not really how we have to think. <laughs> we don't have to think that way. We do sometimes, but we don't have to. Um, I love the belly love. Yay, thank you so much. I went somewhere so deep when you started playing the bowl. Oh, I love that. Thank you, you're welcome. I love that. This has become my favorite way to start the day. Thank you. Yay! Yeah, I've been trying to think about ways to um, uh, use the lives uh, that I've been doing because you we get them all like recorded right on TikTok, and I'm thinking I'm going to start uploading them to my membership. And so, if you happen to like miss one or whatever, you could still have access uh, to them. And every morning, I could start doing that. And so. <sighs> I'm like, all the things, <laughs> I feel like it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, you're a yoga teacher, you must teach yoga all the time. I do um, a lot, a lot more than the normal person, but a lot of my time is on the computer because I'm uploading the things that I'm teaching. <laughs> will you be live tomorrow? Yes, yes I will. I'll be live um, every day this week. Um, I may take Sunday off. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out. So I started this like almost two weeks ago and, um, I started because I wasn't feeling like myself. I was feeling like a lot of what, um, like I was giving was to everybody around me. So I wasn't giving anything back to myself. And so I was like, you know what? Just need to suck it up, wake up a little bit earlier I was like prioritizing sleep over um, this type of self-care and I think writing down things, especially what we're grateful for and just like going through and um, connecting to community is like just so important. And so I've really come to like look at this even more differently than when I began and um, I'm so thankful for it. Like it's definitely improved my mental health like so much. <laughs> <laughs> like I have the patience a little bit better with my children. So I'll join tomorrow. Yay. I would love to have you. Um, I'm guilty of doing that. Yeah. That's the thing is, um, I definitely was like, house needs to be clean. The kids need to be happy and like fed and like, we need to go on every single adventure this summer. And like, we need to do all these things and I need to show how happy I am. And like, I was miserable. <laughs> was miserable um and so I was like I don't like this and that's the thing too like realizing the idea I had and I was romanticizing it a little bit in my brain and realizing I hated it I hated like going to the water parks and like doing all this stuff with my kids I didn't really like it I'm still doing it but like I was doing so much for them I wasn't taking care of myself and so as soon as I woke up in the morning they woke up and immediately it was like mom 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 I wasn't tending to anything that like really mattered to me um and so that's why I started doing it about two weeks ago and now I'm kind of like I wake up I have my own thing and then when they wake up I'm a happy person <laughs> I'm not like you guys need that already like I was getting irritated right out the gate instead of um, like just happy to see them. And now in the morning, I'm happy to see my kids. Like I want to give them lots and tons of cuddles. I'm not like touched out the second I wake up, they wake up in the morning, you know, because I have my time to myself. The community feeling of this is so nice. Yes, I know. I appreciate the community like more more and more and more and more. It's kind of interesting because like sometimes when you um, are doing something, you, I guess for me, a lot of times I'm feeling like this stubbornness, like I don't need anything. I can do it my own. Like nobody, you know, I, I'm like so stubborn. I am my mother's daughter. <laughs> I don't like people telling me what to do. You know, I'm very much a Scorpio. Um, and so to have somebody like who's like watching maybe could say something that's like you did it wrong um but then understanding like it's okay people are here to like want to like provide that 
boost that lift and then they're benefiting from it as well I think letting my guard down a little bit about that has really like changed the game for me hello 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 welcome but um yeah I'm just I'm just so grateful for this like beautiful little community and um I'm hoping that I eventually start uploading these um to my membership page I kind of wanted to start doing it to my like YouTube and build like a little bit of a YouTube membership. Um, and I can't decide, you know what I mean? I can't decide. Um, my current community has like hundreds, hundreds of yoga videos. And so, um, I also have my 75 self love challenge plus my yoga for complete fat beginners. It's all in my membership page. And I have spent like literally the last two years, you know, building and nurturing that. And as much as I'd like to say that it's thriving, it sometimes isn't <laughs> any type of a membership platform. You get like boosts at different times. People will join, then they'll drop off, join, drop off. So I see pretty consistent. Um, with um, anywhere between 100 to 200 members. And um, and I'm so grateful for that. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, I appreciate it so much. Um, but I would love to find a, a platform, and I'm thinking maybe YouTube might be the way, and I'm not sure. Uh, I hate to dive into something where I'm at the mercy of like, YouTube, but then again, I'm at the mercy of Kajabi. Like that's the platform I'm choosing to use right now. So I need to meditate on it. <laughs> um, and then if I do switch everything over to YouTube, it's it'll be a process. And um, yeah, so it might happen. I'm. I would have to devote a lot of time to it. Like, I don't know if I would do all the videos for my membership, and I don't know if I would like change up my membership at all, like, um, like change pricing or anything like that. It's just been very consistent for the last two years. And I don't want to increase the price, even though I'm offering more, like I want to keep it the same. The people who are there love it. They like what I'm offering. And so, and I do offer a lot. I, hundreds of videos. I'm not even joking. <laughs> And you get like a first couple days free. So if you want to check it out and just be like, mm, what is she talking about? Um, you can uh, look on my bio and it says like start. I think it says like join the membership here for free or something. And you get like the first three days for free. So you can go check it out. Um, do you have a website? I do. So check my link in bio and um, it's tiffanycrow.com. But I have it on my bio. So I have updated it. At one point somebody was like, you should only have four links. It's crazy. The, like once you, um, you know, start building up a following and then start like looking to other people for advice, um, people will give you advice. <laughs> and somebody told me once, um, you should only have four links on your link page. And so I like adjusted it recently and then I went live and then they were like, well, where are all these things? And I was like, I deleted them all because somebody told me to do that. Um, so I've added them back in. <laughs> so you can really find um, the things that I talk about on the on a more regular basis. So my website, my 75 self love challenge, my membership, like those are the three things um, that I talk about the most. So I want them there. My Amazon storefront is on there, and then my free 60-minute yoga class. So all those things are what's important to me and my business. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, if you're if you are a business owner and you're like, I need to do this because somebody told me to. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. And I think trial and error. There's no like right way, wrong way, how to do anything. So if you're like, um, I you know, I'm struggling and I don't like the way that this person told me to do it. It's time to change it up then. <laughs> good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. I'm so glad to catch you live. I'm so glad you did too. Thank you for following me. Hey, welcome. Um, but I'm about to go make some content and I'm just curious, uh, is there anything y'all would like to see me uh, focus on. I did a tailbone video yesterday, totally flopped. 
I like posted at the right time. It was a very similar structure to my uh, sore back and hips. So it's interesting with, um, I just signed up for the 60 minute class. Again, thank you for doing this. You're my, you're truly inspiring. Yay! Yeah, that 60 minute class is great. It kind of goes over some beginning stuff for like yoga props and that kind of thing. And then there's a whole class and um, you also get on that email list. Um, and it's free. It's completely free. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, oh, content. Uh, so my content that I put out there, uh, my my back and hips video, it got like 50,000 views day before yesterday. I used the same outline as far as um, how I was speaking, the same song, very similar writing at the top. The only thing I could think of is I was doing it as a response video. Um, so I don't know if that impacted it, but that video only got 1700 views. So it's just interesting how, I mean, the algorithm, you could just say the algorithm hates me, but like one video, 50,000, the other video, 1700. So maybe just not as many people need help with their tailbone. And I don't necessarily do this for uh, virality. <laughs> I prefer not to go viral, actually. I love to stay around the 10 to 50,000 view range because I feel like I'm reaching a target audience when I'm in that range of views. Um, when I start getting up to like 100, 200,000 views, um, that's when all the trolls come in. <laughs> and then anything over that, they, I'm, I'm like get, seeing the emoji cap, like nonstop, lose weight, like you're fat, like so many things. So it's just, um, don't wanna be up there. Uh, but is there anything, long winded question, is there anything that you wanna see? Um, as far as like what you need help with. I have a shoulder video that I'll be uploading later today. I'm going to continue um, the boob story. I have the owners of, you know, what the owner said. And then um, I am going to probably duet something uh, to kind of like show an alternative to another person's uh, post. Not sure if you've done something with neck and shoulders. Oh, uh, we are like vibing. So, um, yeah, I just, I ju I'm going to do one with uh, shoulders, but I could do one for, for the neck. I've done hundreds. Of, I feel like hundreds, maybe like 20. I've probably done like 20 neck videos on my page, but what's, um, what's frustrating about TikTok, I guess I could like label them at the top, like by ailment, but people don't scroll over. They don't even realize that I have a bed yoga series. Like it's okay. It just means that, you know, we are, are very hyper-focused on, like, what's presently in front of us. And so it's hard to kind of, like, go through and, like, label things and, like, help people find what they need. Um, there's no perfect way of doing things. And so you just kind of have to, like, trial and error and just figure it out. You just keep posting the same stuff, even though new eyes are constantly on it. I see so many contradictions, but not many recommendations yeah um i'm really interested in recommendations for yoga during menstruation okay yeah um i feel like yoga up the wall let yoga up the wall, leg up the wall and then like twisting stuff is what i like doing so just very gentle twists seated twists that's really um where i focus and then the legs up the wall it's just so good and i think um even like a uh uh, knees out cobblers uh, or butterfly pose that's great for your belly action the thing is is like everybody struggles with different things like migraines and like cramps and like um, uh, other things sea turtle hello 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 welcome um, and so you just never know uh, what like their real true thing is that's going on so it's like if you're having digestive issues like literally like everything is super duper loose <laughs> and you're cramping um so the twists will help with that and then if you're having like um 
like a lot of swelling legs up the wall right if you're having like migraines like you should probably do some like neck exercises uh, but I do have a few videos for like uh, different moves that help me and if you've watched my truth about my weight loss uh, you'll know that I'm I struggle deeply <laughs> with that time of the month and so I um, I have made many videos but I should probably do more because I usually do them when I'm on my period because it's like that's what's top of mind <laughs> you know I just finished my cycle um, and I was like in a different content creation mode than thinking about like what do I want you know I was thinking more like I've been kind of like transitioning over to like skits because the algorithm wants what the algorithm wants. It just is what it is. Thank you. I have to go. Have a wonderful day. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, but you know, if you have an account with uh, you or if you have an account with TikTok and you have been posting content and you're like, why isn't this working? I don't get the views. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody follows me. Um, who knows? <laughs> I'll just say it took me like three months, four months to get 4,000 followers when I first started. So I was not a all the way through and I've been doing this for almost, well, like two and a half years. So if you're like, she has so many followers, blah, blah, blah. I've been doing this for a long time. So people who started at the same time I started um, have millions of followers. Like at one time, Mama Cusses, which I don't know if you follow her, her and I had very similar amount of following and then she just kind of like went through and now she has over 2 million and um, I love that. I've, I'm, I'm like cheering her on. Um, but why not me? <laughs> not that I need that, honestly. I don't need like 2 million followers. I don't want that. Um, I think that's the game though. Right? Like when you're doing social media and you're constantly like, what, what is going to get the eyes of somebody? And that's the thing too, like the content that you create, you want it to be consumed by the right people. Um, you just never know. You just never know who, who it's going to come across to. But I always think about it like I'm going to help somebody. I'm going to help one person on the other, other end of the screen and hopefully... It's either going to be valuable in an entertainment way. It'll be valuable in a, like, I can actually help them relieve pain for one minute. And that's the thing, too. Like, people don't realize, like, yoga can cure everything. But maybe it only cures it for, like, one minute, <laughs> so to speak. Because you have to keep doing it. You have to keep doing the yoga for it to, like, work. <laughs> And doing the poses and if you're not consistent with it it will constantly like be the thing that is causing you pain or whatever my left shoulder last night I literally like woke up not woke up but like got off the couch and my left shoulder was hurting so bad and I was like why <laughs> and it's because I use my left shoulder in a different way than my right shoulder and um, I usually carry my kids I like I'm on my phone with my left side. I'm not even left-handed. <laughs> but, like, my body's screaming at me because I haven't been doing a regular shoulder mobility yoga practice. And so your body will tell you when you're not doing it. And then you're like, why am I in so much pain? Well, you're not doing it. And that's that's the hard truth, you know. I recently found you and really do appreciate everything you do and care about. Yay! Awesome. I'm so... I, like... I appreciate that more than you know because sometimes just purchase a one month subscription yay thank you thank you I appreciate you um interesting that's the subscription for TikTok I wonder how much they are so I like thank you Wally Pup for subscribing Wobbly Pup just purchased a one month subscription. So that's the other thing. Like I just uploaded a bunch of stuff on TikTok and I'm like, hey, like I want to like have some sort of subscription thing, but it doesn't really outline it very well. <laughs> it's not like A, B, C equals D. Um, it's just kind of like upload your things and um, we need to approve them and then send out these invites to other people and 
Now I'm like, okay, I got a one month subscription. I wonder what that means. Who knows? <laughs> it probably means 50 cents for me. Woohoo! <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like, the only reason why I'd love to do, like, a subscription thing, of course, like, money is amazing, but I would love people to um, have something in a way to, like, support me monetarily in a really easy way where they don't have to click out of the app. Um, and that isn't always the case. And if, if they wanted to, I never am like, please support me, send me cash, Venmo, donate. Like, no, I don't need that. I don't, <laughs> I don't need that at all. Like I'm, I'm very like self-sufficient. Um, but you know, it, hel it helps a lot. Like as far as just liking my videos, um, subscribing to my YouTube, uh, getting my free classes, like all of those things eventually help other people find me and maybe it helps their back pain and maybe it helps them do something else because like the goal is to just like help one person for me um and I used to do one-on-ones a lot um but it just was too much of a like an emotional labor thing and so now it's more about um helping a larger number of people uh even if it's one person at a time if that makes sense so love your shirt thank you thank you so much all right friends I have chatted enough I love all of you. I appreciate you for hanging out with me. You can see my thumper and my carrots. She's a lion head. She's a Holland lop. They're both in separate cages, but they love each other. Um, <laughs> that's carrots. And then that was thumper who just kind of walked away. I get to go have some free time with them in the yard. Um, so sweet. Thanks. Um, I'm hopeless with TikTok. I was looking for the 60 minute yoga class. <laughs> um, you have to probably click on my name and then um, it'll bring you to my bio and then look for my link. Sometimes you have to like click out of the live and then click on my profile. It's, I know, me too. Same, same, same. So click on my profile pic, get to my bio <laughs> and then that'll have my link and then that'll have my... You could also just go to my Instagram, but maybe since you're in this, that wouldn't really. I'm just thinking about how I navigate it when I'm like scrolling too. Okay, I'll keep looking. Thanks. You're welcome. 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 <laughs> All right, friends. I'll see you next time. I'll be here tomorrow, 6 a.m. Pacific. We'll do our journal meditation and some movement. My back feels really good this morning, so I hope yours does too, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.